Check one, two. Am I on yet? What's happening, man? My God, it's the generator king. I know, right? Man, I got to tell you the, uh, the 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 problems with my our power yesterday. So the first uh, the first deal with the power was it, it was like, yeah, we'll be we'll be done in like eleven o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I can do that. I'll just go to the gym. So I went to the gym. Eleven o'clock turned into two o'clock. It turned into four o'clock so on and so forth and it was just like uh it was very very frustrating to me because it's my off day and i was planning on doing this game so uh, i it, it, what it's done is it's forced my hand to do a double feature today project zomboid will be later but we'll probably do a, a different thumbnail and all that uh for for that but that's gonna be later on today we're gonna be doing a one military camp game it's a uh, uh, early access i got a key for this and we'll uh, gonna give it a shot i have not played it at all you would think that i would have uh Tried to play it, so it's going to be here, warts, warts and all. Let me say hi to everybody here real quick. Vaco! Vaco, Vaco! KVK, Dave D, Peace Guff, Norm Slater! I've heard that you were trying to solo run uh, the challenge map. How's that going for you? <laughs> John Morris is going to see you. Naki Lopez, Smoking GM. He's too sweet just to be sour. The man of the hour. The man with all the power, Druck! Good to see you got some volts, and indeed, it's it's very nice. It didn't, I know, that's what I heard. I've, I've heard that it's a very difficult map to go solo on. And really hard. So what is this survival uh, one military camp supposed to be, right? It's it's actually um, a place where we can build our own military camp, we can manage the economy, we re can recruit the best recruits, best candidates, and train them to become elite specialists. Apparently there's been an evil person Michelle Thompson liking the stream on the Facebook. Thank you so much. My oh, one Facebook viewer. <laughs> Can't even spawn in. Oh, Jesus. I ought to give that a shot. We, we can send these guys on missions across the land to end the war once and for all. And the gameplay that I've seen kind of looks like it's a cross between The Sims and like a regular simulation game. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but City Skylines is coming out with, a, uh, with their second part two, which should be a pretty damn good thing. So, anyway, there's an early access roadmap. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, I, I figured, I thought maybe it would be just baked into the game, but it's not. It's actually in a uh, in, in one of these little deals. So, this month they're looking into enhanced mission self-sufficiency and the Steam Deck support. April will be a sandbox mode, which would be nice because uh, I was wondering about the replayability of this game. It's $22.49 right now. It's on sale. I have a link in the description below for anybody that wants to... Maybe pick it up or um, even just put it on their wish list to see how, how this early access business does. I know a lot of times these early access games don't go very far. They just like, they peter out really quick. Customization in June, camp mascots in uh, in May, July is social features, September's two new biomes, and uh, all sorts of other stuff, I guess. But let's just jump right into the game, right? We should, right? Commander Gaga, what's happening? Hey, drunk, I'm Honey But Honey's hubby. She got me watching your stream too. Oh my goodness, Commander Commander Gaga, <laughs> what's happening, man? Hope you uh, welcome on in, baby. Welcome on in. Where where every day is a treat. Every day I'm alive is a treat. That is, man. You know what? What's crazy is I was, uh, you know, I've started working out again. Right, I've been doing this for about I don't know about a month now running every every other day and like checking my aura ring to make sure that I'm ready for it and all that stuff because I'm old and so yesterday I, I like decided I was like I've been slowly but surely adding stuff see my biggest problem what's been happening with me the reason why I haven't been able to get into routine up to this point uh for, for years is because I'll start and I'll go real hot, hot and heavy because that's just how I am right I, I I just I just have to go all all out I challenge myself and so what it will result in is me breaking down my leg muscles to the point where I can hardly walk. And I need my I need my legs because that's what I do for for a living, right? Is walk. So um, so like you know like I miss like a week, and suddenly I'm like I don't want to do this because I don't want to deal with a week of like me being like crippled. And uh, anyway, so like the last like month I've been slowly but surely adding exercises. And yesterday I added uh, lunges into the thing, and uh, man, my ass hurts. I'm just saying. Cody Punchline, what's happening? C3B, it's good to see you. All right, I guess we can just do the campaign. Defeat the Orville, evil forces of Dragon and his henchmen to liberate the land throughout a narrative campaign. All right, well, that sounds like 
like a hellalicious kind of fun, right? New game. We can enter the tank. Text. We'll go Drunk's Last Stand. How about that? Because uh, I don't know if I'll ever play this game again. Maybe. Make sure you don't overload your power generators by having too many buildings. Generators might end up exploding. Wow. Dead Eye Dicks, good to see you, Snow Beetle. Need my ass cheeks to be all like, mm, you know? They've taken over the world! <laughs> Evil henchman! What's up, Rev? How you doing? I don't really get the storyline, but whatever. Maybe somebody can explain it to me in chat for the, you know, some kind of dense like that. What's up, Michelle Thompson? Robert Ducky, you're the one. Ba -da -da -da. Hey! Stop right there, hands up, turn around very slowly. I guess he's supposed to be talking. Huh? What blue eyes you got there, Sergeant Hawkins? Is that a stuffed bear? It's a, it, it, it's, I don't know. Oh, so you're the replacement they sent from the Officer Academy, looking like that. Looking like that? I'll have to make do. If High Command considers you worthy, then so do I. There is no other option. Yep. I hope you're ready for work. I'm Sergeant John Hawkins. My friend calls me Sergeant Hawkins. My mom calls me Sergeant Hawkins. And from now on, I'm Sergeant Hawkins to you. I'm responsible for this facility, the one military camp. And my mission mission is to stop that damn drag dragon. Dragon? Drag dr what? The criminal. He's ruled over the other territories with an iron fist for over a year now. We're all that stands in the way of his evil plans of conquest. My best soldiers and also my worst ones are being held captive in his territory. We weren't able to react in time. If only he had General Diana Birdwhistle with us, things would have turned out differently. Hey. I just missed something. Ah! Cosmic Wee, thank you so much for the fo for following on the Twitch. Moving us one step closer to internet fame, fortune, and glory. But you are here to change that. Keep your ears open, look forward, chest out. This camp is all that we have left. And don't forget to do your lunges. Make your, make your ass hard as a rock. Indeed. It may look dilapidated now, but that's because you haven't started working yet. Well, we're about to get to work, baby. Our chance to stop Dragan. Dragon? Dragan? That's just really weird. It's in every rusty piece of iron and every blade of grass and every wooden log. We just need to do some fine tuning. Follow me inside and I'll bring you up to date. We'll talk about your haircut later. Yo. What? Where's the G Triple G when you need him? Abba! What's happening? March! Work them glutes. I'm going to be honest with you. This camp is a complete disaster. Nothing works. Nothing is repaired more than anything. We need people. We had to completely abandon it, but we had to take it back when dragon... Dragon? Why do I have such a hard time with that? Why can't it just be dragon? Not dragon. Dragon? Is that what it is? These are other positions. That's why we go, we've go. we gone unnoticed all this time. Don't feel free to explore the camp, but don't hurt yourself. Once you're familiar with the basic controls, select the barracks. Okay, let's check out the camp here. You want to play the tutorial? Yeah, I, I think I need to. If I skip it, then we'll be, it'll be like an hour and a half of me just like running around like not knowing. I mean, it's probably going to be an hour and a half of me running around like not knowing what the hell I'm doing anyway. But it's going to be it'd really be that way th this time. If you ha have any doubts about the next step of the tutorial, you can watch a video tutorial by clicking on this icon at the top white, right screen. Nah, I don't think that's going to... We, we don't need to do that. Rotate the camera view. Whoop. Zoom into a building. There you go. Select the barracks. There we go. 
The barracks is where our troops have a chance to rest. It's not all about work. You have to keep your mind and body healthy. Inter each barracks can hold up to seven cadets. Keep that in mind when your things get crowded, okay? As you can see, our new barracks have no power. Like I said, we are running on fumes. Without light, our men and women will find out what the darkest hour was really like. We need to fix that. Build an electric generator to supply power to the whole area. I needed a generator yesterday, man. You don't even have to read a generator book or anything. So we can just stick this right here and come over here and do this build thing, right? Where's our generator? There it is right there. There we go. Ah! A well look barracks just the way I like it. It does kind of have that uh, that, that movie's uh, set, doesn't it? Now the newbies will have a place to take a breather after training. Great, now we have a uh, place to sleep. Let's talk about chow. So we need a food place now. Find the canteen and click on it. I bet you it's right here. The only other building we got. Hmm. <laughs> Back in my day, they even used to toss in an old tie or two. This is, a gourmet food. this is gourmet food by comparison. Let's use this old canteen. But to do it, we need to connect it to the rest of the camp. Build a road to the canteen, okay? Uh, where's my road? Ah, right here. There we go. Yep. This road will help our troops reach the canteen easily. That way they don't get lost in the bushes and stuff. Is this City Skylines too? What's happening, man? How you doing, Polygraph? Now we have to connect that to the power grid, okay? Build some electric poles to power the canteen, okay? Can come up. Can I go right here? Did that work? Oh, maybe I need to do. I need to connect it, right? So I need to go right here. There we go. <laughs> Let there be light. Ha 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 ha. It's starting to work. Good, we have to hire a new cook, perfectly someone who doesn't add chunks to the, of tire to the soup. Some buildings like the canteen require us to hire some people, and by that mean, I mean qualified personnel. Workers can sleep in the barracks with the troops, but their morale will be higher if you build a, them a private house. If we want them to do their jobs well, we'll have to make sure they have the best accommodations. Luckily, I have a private house built for our first cook, but if you want to bring in more employees, you'll have to build more. Remember that. I put it, some advertisements to in to bring new candidates. The first ones should be here any minute now. Let's see if anyone came in to help us. Bet you they did. Amazing. Mm. Look at this guy, Hansel Popowski. As you can see, every candidate has their own specific skills. I did not see that. The skills we want depend on the job. What kind of skills does he have? On the one hand, they have skills, which are the basic abilities. On the other hand, they have traits, which show us their special talents. Pay close attention and only hire the best, okay? Looks like this Popowski guy isn't a bad cook. He says he makes an incredible cabbage soup. My favorite. Hey. There's no room for incompetence at this camp, so be careful about who you hire if you don't want any unpleasant surprises. Select Hansel Poposki and hiring him as a cook, okay? I'm gonna hold my hand here. There we go. When he got on the bus, he thought he was going to the library, but since he's here, he knows how to tie his shoes. At least that's something. Don't demand too much physical er effort from him. It's not his best quality. So he's not very strong. He's not very speedy. Not very intelligent. Not very accurate, but he's a good cook. And he, he's experienced as a cook. He increases 25% faster. He has defensive knowledges. So he could be uh, experienced as a security officer increases 25%. And he has a, his night owl stamina has decreased 10% slower. Let's hire him. Let's stick it right here. And we can hire him for 350 buckaroos a day. <laughs> there you go. Well done. What's up, Gremlin? How you doing? Might be, must be the glutes, right, Snow Beetle? That's the spirit. Do them lunges. Now that Mr. Boboski has joined us, our troops will eat like kings. Or we don't have any troops. I'm dying to taste the soup, but it's still early. First, we have to get to the canteen ready. This building has been abandoned for a long time. It's in terrible condition. Look at those floors. It's disgusting. Hey. We need to hire a maintenance worker to straighten out this mess. Maintenance workers make sure that our buildings are always in good condition. If we don't look after them, our troops won't be able to train. This is crucial work. On top of that, they are also in charge of managing our camp. Warehouses and supplies. These are, there are go-to guys for everything. Mm. 
How about hiring a maintenance worker? Once we have one, just select the canteen info menu and request it to be cleaned. All right. right. All right, let's go. Let's see, do I come right here? Okay, so I need to find a maintenance worker. I need to come down here, and there's my, my logistics. Maintenance building, okay. Let's take the maintenance building right here. It's gonna cost us a little bit of a chunk of change. We have 146 coin though, so we're looking good. There we go. Now we need to find a, there's our maintenance worker. Eight, 15 in strength, intelligence, actually defensive uh, experience. We'll, we'll hire him as a, are we gonna hire him as a private? I thought we need a maintenance worker, right? Can I hire, can I hire homeboy? John Hawkins, see how he likes to be a maintenance worker, unsung hero, a essential worker, and all that. Ah, need a private house too. I think that private house right about right here. Uh, you know what? We'll go right here. And now we gotta hire this guy as a maintenance worker, I guess. Always on the go and never stops to relax, even when he's on vacation. Too bad we can't name these people. I can name it after you, you fuckers. Does not excel in any discipline. It seems he'll need to train hard to get very far in his soldiering career. He can't hit the broadside of a barn. Good thing that we're making him a maintenance worker. Hey! There you go. And you got your own private house, homie. Hey! I wanna see this camp squeaky clean. Um, well, moving on. Camp maintenance is in good hands. Now we're, we're all we're missing is the supplies. We can't run our canteen if we don't have any food, can we? We can't. We have to take care of this. Supplies are essential for keeping the machinery running. We have to be careful and make sure that we always have a constant flow of resources. Our main supplies are fuel, food, medicine, and ammo. Got it. Hmm. Downside is they are hard for us to find. To get them, we'll have to talk to some suppliers. Let's go to the map and, ex and I'll explain it to you. I don't want to go to the map. Ah, hellfire. I guess I will go to the map. This is the country map. As you can see, we're all closed in by the evil dragon. Bob the build, Builder Sim today. Yes, to zoom out uh, into the house is pretty clean. Yeah, it's it's actually... All the, the gameplay that I have seen has been really... Like, it doesn't feel like an early access game. All right, let's learn. As you can see, Dragon is taking control of almost every region. That recalcitrant fool. Is that how you say that? Bring up the map, either press the country map icon at the bottom left of your screen, or zoom out the, into camp view until the map appears. If you want to return a map, press country map icon again, or zoom in. Look closely, see those little buildings? Some of them are resource suppliers. Can we look at it? We can't. Some of these resource supplies, the problem is that most of them are in areas controlled by Dragon. As we complete missions, we'll unlock new territories and gain access to these suppliers. Some are more have more competitive prices or greater production capacity. Keep an eye out for good deals so we can save money. Anyway, let's go back to the camp. We need to talk about how we manage the supplies. So, yeah, well, there we go. We'll need warehouses to manage our supplies. Okay, so we need warehouses now. Warehouses allow us to store these precious resources. They come in various types depending on what they hey. hold. Don't mix food with fuel or we, you, we might have an unexpected accident. Okay, food and fuel. Bad. Got it. You also have to place them close to the buildings that need them because our maintenance personnel will have to go back and forth pushing a wheelbarrow. Put a warehouse too far away, they'll run, have to run a marathon just hey. to get there. Build our first warehouse near the canteen. Got it. Is, is, our, is our maintenance guy, like, actually working and stuff? Yeah, he is. He's, he's running over there. We'll, we'll do one better. We'll stick it right here. You won't have far to go at all. Hmm. Our maintenance staff will be in charge of distributing the supplies. In the meantime, let's contact contact our first supplier. If you look at the warehouse info panel, you can bring up the supplier list, okay? We'll only have one right now, but one more, more will appear as we gain new territories. Check your map from time to time to compare suppliers and unlock territories. You can also contact them from your map if that's <sighs> easier. Mark my words, managing supplies well is one of the keys to success. Hi. I'm a manager, baby. Don't, but enough chit chat, our warehouse won't be worth a thing if we don't put something in it. Request our first food order. Got it. Food stock. Let's go ahead and buy it for 1300 buckaroos. 
181 times the order. The price is six times a, a unit. What? That's fine. We got it. He's bringing sexy back. What's yeah. up, Abbott? So much information. Yeah, well, it's a tutorial. You know what do you do? And I didn't. I, I, I was too lazy to. Well, I couldn't do it yesterday because my power was out. Not that I was going to do it yesterday because I was planning on streaming this like early. It just didn't happen. Well done. Our food reserves are at optimal levels. Okay. But beware, nothing lasts forever. Our buildings will let you know when we're low on supplies, so you can order another shipment. Got it. You know, more supplies from the info panel for each warehouse or from the supplier on the country map. It's up to you to make sure we never run out of supplies. Okay. Now you know how it's done, how about building a fuel uh, house and supply our electric generator? Remember, the more warehouses we have, the more maintenance workers you'll need. You need, may need to hire someone else. Okay. All right. Let's, we'll go ahead and, and, and build another warehouse down here. I guess I'll just stick this right here. Here we go. And let's see if we can... Are we going to have another uh, another person coming in? Not yet. Finally, he's someone coming. All right, her. A foodie who loves to try new different types of food will need a lot of training to stand out in any specialization. She tried to play basketball, but he... But he I guess she, I guess she is a he. But he scored more in his own basket. Sophia Ortiz. Experiences medic increases 25. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's go maintenance. You're maintenance. Have fun. <laughs> There's supplies in place to eat and sleep. It's time to get to work. We've been to work. Let's start with the training buildings. Our troops have to get through some tough training before they can pick a specialization. There are many different specializations from pilot to comms operator or even spy. Each specialization requires a different set of skills. That's why the first skills training is the most important. As new recruits come in, we'll need to think very carefully about the training we give them and which specializations we need most. For now, let's focus on two kinds of basic training. Build a strength training building and an intelligence training hey. building. Oh, one more thing. Choose where you build them wisely. Training buildings make a distinct sound like an enemy's weapon. What does that mean? It's best to keep barracks away from entertainment areas so that our, our troops can get sleep. Okay. This is supposed to be entertainment? Hey! All right. Let's, uh, let, we got a couple things I want to do. First of all, I want to put another private house over here so homegirl can uh, get some sleep. We'll go right here and... Um, Logistics, maybe right here. Private house. Do that right there so she'll have a place to stay. And we have this right here for training. We can actually build something right over here. I wonder how far away we need to build. Maybe we'll build over here near, near, the, uh, near the chow hall. We'll come right there. Let's build a road too. And we need power. I got it. I mean, that's going to be enough power, right? You just took up, right? Ah, Hellfire. There we go. Build a functional strength building as well, okay? Let's let's take a look in here and see what this does. Okay, so we can upgrade this stuff. What is what is this what was this building again? Just an intelligence center. Did I do the wrong thing? Interesting. I might have done the wrong thing. Oh, it's intelligence training and strength training. Okay, got it. Pick this right here. Uh, Outstanding! Our co camp is now operational. Barracks, right? Power grid looks like a third world country. You obviously don't have the electrician trade. I don't, do I? 
<laughs> I see some new faces there. It seems my advertising campaign was effective after all. Let's take a closer look. Oh, look at here. We got some. We got some folks. Make sure you check everybody's skills and traits. If they have the wrong skills or traits. They won't be effective on missions. That's something we can't afford. Okay, let's start with the one with that one here. Which one? For our training program, we need someone with an athletic build, someone who's used to physical activity. I don't think that's the case here. This recruit isn't in great shape. I don't think there's much potential. Maybe we should take a look at some of the other recruits. We'll figure out what to do with this one. What? Okay, so let's 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 check out. He's not even letting me check it out. Much better. That's the one. This recruit is in really good shape, and I think they have a lot of potential. The decision is yours, but we need to recruit someone as soon as possible. Pick one of them, and we'll start training. All right, let's go with this guy, I think. Let's see what he is. He's got a strength of 10, a music lover, and enjoys listening to any type of, of song. Pretty mediocre and doesn't excel at anything. He can't hit a target even in front of his nose. Okay, well, that doesn't sound so good. What about her? She's a 10-2 in strength. We need a lot of training to stand out. She can't hit a target even if it's a no. So she has a 25 intelligence, 9 in accuracy, 10 in strength, and 8 in speed. And what is what is this guy? 7 in speed, 10 in strength, 5 in intelligence, and his accuracy is 9. Hmm. I might just do the, the chick. We'll go ahead and hire her. All right. Don't, don't let me down. What? Don't let me down. All these meetings with the sergeant could, could have been an email just saying I know, right? It's kind of annoying. Perhaps the game to was a former army recruiter and this is his dream game. I'll make a game where recruits come to me. Whoa. Nah. Sorry, I get excited every time a new cadet steps onto the training field. I love the smell of sweat in the morning. Mm. Oh, reminds me of my early days, except it was a lot tougher back then. Sergeant Camp Campbell, he was one tough guy. Mm. Anyway, where, where was I? Skills training. You see, when a recruit comes into a camp as a private, they'll go to whatever training they want unless you tell them otherwise. These young people have no respect for anything. They think they can do whatever they want. My buddy Sergeant Campbell could see them. It would drive him nuts. Like I said, they're hard-headed. The only solution for you is to tell them where you want them to train. Our new recruit, recruit is on their way to the strength training building. We're going to change their plans. Look on the soldier in the service station on the info plant panel and assign them to the intelligence training center. When the time comes, it'll come in handy if we were able to specialize troops like comms operators, okay? Remember what I told you, skills training is key when deciding which specialization our cadets want or have. You can speed things up in the menu on the bottom right of your screen. Okay, that's fine. All right. Yes, let's, sir. Let's go right here. Improve strength training. That's where you're going. You're going to, to intelligence. Well done! All this hand holding is kind of getting me like my my hands kind of hot. Oh, you're very welcome, Abba. It's 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 an interesting thing. I mean, th there's a new uh, study that came out that was like pretty pretty hard on keto. Um, I forget what what it was. It was saying something about cardiovascular stuff. But I think that a lot of people just don't do it right. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get our first artillery specialist in comms operators. But first, they'll need to complete complete their training as pir as privates. Okay. You don't let me down. Do I need to hire somebody else? So we can speed up stuff. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Kind of cool. Kind of looks like Sims in a way. Uh oh. Here comes some more people. We're gonna have a we're gonna have ourselves a, a an army full of chicks, it looks like. Strength's ten, our intelligence sixteen, our accuracy is thirteen. Her aim leaves a lot to be desired, but she at least she's not like can't hit the side of a barn. Seems she'll need to train hard to get very far in her soldiering career. You're hired, soldier. <laughs> Go do your thing. Maybe there'll be more. Yeah, here comes another one. <laughs> it's almost nighttime. <laughs> Your young people, recruits included, need to go to sleep at night. Rest is important. Yeah, whatever. 
However, if we want to make this so want this to work right at camp, we'll have to provide services around the clock. Obviously, we can't make them work day and night. This would be inhumane. We can assign some of our workers to the night shift. Got it. Hey. Pay attention. This is important. To make the best use of our people's skills, managing their schedules properly is crucial. <laughs> no words easier than it looks. Blah, blah, blah. Here you can select the schedule in the buildings they are assigned to. Okay, let's see. The schedule has a day and night shifts and is divided in service and rest periods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to select whoever you want and choose night or day, uh, day schedule. It's getting dark in this camp. has to keep going. Hire a cook and assign them to the night shift. Okay. Let's hire another Let's hire another cook. Ah. Let's see what she is. 15 in speed, 7 in strength. She's a good cook. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. night And a night owl, too. Works for me. We'll hire her. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, we can okay. do the schedule right there. Got it. We'll hire another. We'll hire this homeboy too. Woo! You're hired. Well, yeah, I know that gremlin. We've seen grandma's faster than her. <laughs> You're hired too. Yeah! The more, the merrier. We just need uh we just need meat shields, baby. Yep. Good job, our camp will have a 24-7 kitchen, got it. Got it. This has truly been the longest day. You're telling me. My goodness, man. My brain is hurting from all this information. It's important that they get a good night's rest so they'll be able to work hard tomorrow. Got it. Can't afford to have people slacking around. We'll have to keep morale high if we want to keep this together. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I just need to do, I just need to do this right here? Hit that skip button and just, and just move on? Got to be careful not to assign too much work. Well, we got you, Sergeant Hawkins. <laughs> How about a game at the arcade or a visit to the museum? We got museums. I guarantee you the troops will appreciate it, and they'll show their appreciation by working hard. So much for day, day's lessons. Build an entertainment on if you add. Uh, if you like, add some street light lamps to our hey. camp. Okay. Mm. Got it. We're going to hire her, too. He sucks. Oh, I can reject her too. Let's go ahead and build some street lights. Just obviously street lights are the most important thing here. Maybe we'll build a like a museum or something back here. Maybe we'll build it right here. A little happiness. There you go, you're hired. Yeah. They could add a, a, a light dim version of the characters for the night cycle. They could. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, some lights too, I think. Where would that be? Not here. Maybe here? Decorative. Ah, here we go. I think that lights up a little bit, uh, a little bit different now, doesn't it? You light up my life. There we go. There we go.
Grand Soldier to, to reach out. 40 intelligence points. Let's see. We got a couple of new, new recruits here. You can't hit a even target in front, even if it's in front of her nose. Her her speed is good. Lose motivation 10% fa faster without free time. Okay. We'll go ahead and put her in the uh, in the nighttime cycle. Yeah. And we'll put her in the daytime cycle. Yes. Oh, there's our strength draining. I was wondering about this. Got some attention that's required. What's that? Oh, I got a trained soldier, I'm guessing. All right, here's our... Uh-oh. Training goal is not yes, set. Sir. Okay, let's let's set our... Mm. Let's set a goal here. Initial class, tier one, st artillery. Calm. So we'll go ahead and just do this boss. right here. I don't buy it uh, being a military base until I see two pawn shops, three chat, two parlors, and a Walmart situated outside of it. Did you see that Portland, uh, the, the city of Portland is like, Walmart's like, just like out of there? They decided that they that, that Portland wasn't worth the trouble. I'm not even joking. Look at all my guys playing. Shouldn't they be working? Shouldn't they be specializing? Yes, sir. Strength is not one of her best qualities, so we'll make her a... Uh, her intelligence is sucks. Yes, sir. He's a nine in accuracy. We'll hold off. We'll hold off. We'll just see what the uh, tutorial tells us. Got another person here. A music lover enjoys listening to any type of song. Will need a lot of training to stand out in any specialization. Specialization. She always had a hard time when it came to cultivating her mind. All right, you're hired too. You're hired in the nighttime though. Go to sleep. We're just gonna hire everybody. I get all my news from you, drunk. I gave up being topical half a lifetime ago. Well, you know, it's it, it's I, Google just feeds me the news, regardless of whether I want it or not. Like, hey, uh, this looks like something that might interest you, even though it didn't really interest me. I think I was bored that uh, it was yesterday when power was out. Anything was interesting to me. Her accuracy is really good. We're going to hire her as a uh, as a private. We'll put her in nighttime, too, though. Probably need more barracks, so we'll we'll go ahead and build another set of barracks here. There we go. Ah, shit. Maybe we need to pause this, huh? Need another uh, another one of them generators. man how do I do this is this the end there we go
Go! No training goal defined. Let's yes, go sir. ahead and give her a training goal here. Uh, what is that? Hold on. Let me see what this is. Training goal not set. Jinx in in increases the chance of getting hurt while well on a mission. Okay, so we need to set a train set goals for these people. Uh, we'll make her. Uh, Copy that, boss. We'll go ahead and make her artillery. All right, so why is that? Yes, sir. Okay. There we go. Move her right here. Yes, sir. Get her going. What she got? Defensive knowledge, she's a sprinter. Training goal is not set. Nine in accuracy, her intelligence is 30, so we'll go ahead sure and keep thing. her right there. Yes, sir! 13 in accuracy, a 20 in strength. We'll go Roger ahead and put that. this right here. Homeboy. Yes, sir. Understood. Move him over here into guns. Is that everybody? We got some people asleep too, right? What does this mean? Looks all right. Defcon 5 already perfection. If Walmart had a union, I might be able to, to consider supporting it. Those companies will never have unions, man. You know the, the, the problem, and I mean, I'm not... Bear in mind, I'm not an anti-capitalist, but it's... It, it's the, the problem with all that stuff is, is that it... it is that when you, when you pander to nothing but stockholders, which, you know, you're a stockholder, I'm a stockholder, all that stuff. We want the most profit. And it goes in direct opposite correlation to workers' rights. And I think it's, I don't even know what the fix is for that. Well, hopefully we can train these, these soldiers up quick enough. Ah, oh, we got another, another group. Perfect. What do you look like? Experience as a cook. We could make her a cook. But do we really need a cook with only 10 soldiers? <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's going to be pretty loud right there for right here, you know? I love to see the camp in full swing. Swang. The hard training, the sun in your face, and the sobs of troops begging for mercy reminds me of the good old days. It's time to take our training one step further. The rookies are ready for their specialization. <laughs> They'll go from inexperienced weaklings to well-trained professionals. How exciting. I don't know if you've noticed each, each soldier's info panel allows you to choose which class you'd like them to specialize in and shows what skills are required. One of our soldiers meets the requirements. They will let you know they are ready for a specialization. However, I recommend that you check out our cadets. How our cadets are progressing from time to time. We need a comms operator, but we can't promote one before we're building a comms operator specialization building. Okay. Once you have it, just go into the so soldier's info panel, and from there, bring up the specialization tree. It's that no. easy. All right, cool. Sounds good. There it is right there. Might stick it right over here. Maybe we'll come over on this side though. 
We need a road, right? Daryl Scott is ready to specialize. Yes, okay, where is she? <gasps> okay, comms operator specialist. We'll accept yes, it. Sir. There you go. You got a job, baby. Uh, ha. We now have our first specialist. Very nice. Hmm. I can't be full of true professionals soon. Give it time. I already mentioned we can make troops work the day or night shifts, but that's not all. If you want, you can ask them to work more hours and give them some time off. This can be very useful when you're close to reaching a training target where you, you think your soldiers need rest recover. But don't, but be careful. Don't push the new people too hard or things can go badly. A tired cadet is more likely to get injured. Hmm. How are we even going to make money in this game? Rest is just as important as work. If not more, don't forget that. That said, we can't let our troops take too many days off either or they'll get lazy. Anyway, I think you know everything there is to know about how we train our troops. It's time to get serious. We need to start running missions as soon as possible. In addition to the comms operator, we need to train two artillery specialists. Let's get on them right away. Once they're ready, we'll be able to stand up that to that damnable dunderhead dragon. Hey! All right, so we got it. We, we I think we're almost finished. Yes, sir. Ready to ready to specialize? Let's see. I think. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we're going to need to do something other than... Let's see what other building we need. We might need another building. Intelligence training. Artillery specialization. Accuracy training. We'll go ahead and do that right there. Here we go. And I got two people that are ready to, uh, to do something, but I don't know how to do it. A few people, actually. Yes, sir. Understood. Okay. You have to build an artillery specialization first. Okay, got it. All right, so we got to come down here. Let's let's come down here and we'll build something right right across here. Accuracy training, strength training, speed training, artillery specialization. There we go. Him, look at him doing those power ups. He's ready. Yes, sir. Got him in artillery specialization. Yes, sir. There's one. Yes, sir. And two. Yes, sir. Well done. Well done. The recruits have become fully fledged professionals. I think they're qualified to take on their first mission. All right, so we get to see the second half of this. We've only been through this tutorial. Wait a second. I see you haven't built a heliport yet. Okay, so we need to build. A, we can't send people out with, to the front without a means of transport. Let's fix that. Heliports are essential buildings for us. They enable us to send our cadets on missions. Hey. Essential that we build one as soon as possible. Let's get to it. Think carefully about where you want to put it. Try not to disturb the troops when they're resting. You can't imagine how loud a fully loaded helicopter can get. That's perfect. We'll, we'll move them all the way over here then. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Right in the corner. Probably gonna need uh maybe the power is all right. Here we go. Yeah, it needs more power. All right, so we're gonna need to hire some more people. I'm gonna put a power generator maybe right here. Hey. 
check the map to see where we're needed, okay? Looks like they're urgent need to help in Rocky Appendix. If you like the mission on the map, you'll see information on the requirements, troops we can send, and reason for the mission. Mm. Let's see. It seems the citizens of Rocky Appendix are desperate. Dragon has banned cabbage in their territory. Mm -hmm. What a bitch! Cabbage is a national delicacy. Stuffed cabbage, cabbage soup, cabbage pie, ah, classic sauerkraut. They even banned Brussels sprouts. What? You know the ones people like to saute in butter. So delicious. You brown buttered Brussels sprouts. You guys don't get me started on that. My God, it's just so heartless and cruel. These people can't live without cabbage. We have to do something immediately. Select the troops you want to send on a mission. At the bottom, you can see the probability of, of victory in percents. The better trained the troops are, we send are, the more likely we are to succeed in the mission. As you can see, each mission requirements we have to meet. This one asks for one, send one comms operator and two artillery specialists. If we succeed, we'll have more money for our camp. Yo. All right, let's 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 save these poor unfortunate souls and give them their Brussels sprouts back. How do I do it again? Oh, right, let me hire some more people. You can be in the daytime. Let's see, uh, six, fourteen. Yeah, we'll hire you. <laughs> we'll definitely hire you as well. That guy's ready. A music lover enjoys listening to any type of music. He'll need a lot of training to stand out. He, it's, it looks like he's ready to go. This guy, yeah, you're hired too. Why not hire this guy as well? All right. Let's see. What is yes, what is she now? She what is her uh, her levels? Oh, now that I've hired him, I can't like I can't just turn around and and uh, and do stuff. Let's hire him as an engineer. Actually, a medic, huh? We'll do we'll do another maintenance guy. Maybe we got two cooks. Where are him? Let's build a few more barracks as well. What are we trying to do now? Save the cabbages. Yes, sir. This actually will not improve specialization's performance. What are we trying to do here? I thought he was just a maintenance worker. Oh, he'll be all right. Okay. Where's our missions? World map. There we go. The people of, of Rocky Appendix are desperate that evil dragon has banned all cabbages. Blah, 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 blah. It's like three soldiers. We need a comms officer. We got her. Understood. I need two, two artillery dudes. All right. Understood. Looks like we're all right. There, our battle rank is 75. Their enemy battle rank is 60. Maybe we'll hire somebody else. Maybe we'll uh, look in and maybe try to do something else here. We yes, can, sir. We can uh, train this guy right here. Yes, sir. Now let's go and do it. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me hire. Oh, it's only gonna let me do three soldiers, not six. Hire a chef and name him Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> so we don't actually get to do anything. We just gotta hope our people are, are good enough. You need more comms officers. I do. We got a couple coming in here to learn. A few of these guys. Let's see. What is, what is yes, this? This homeboy here. Hmm. 
Move him to accuracy. Yes, sir. That's fine. Yes, sir. Works. Got someone going to calm, someone going to accuracy. We got some strength training. We got anybody else we can hire? Oh, we got homeboy here. Analytical thinker, who's always looking for ways to improve efficiency and productivity, knows how to tie his shoes. At least that's something. We could hire him as, let's see. He's not a cook. We do this right here. All right, we'll we'll hire him for right now. Uh, uh, you know, hold on. Let's 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 let's, let's give this a, a let's give this a, a second here. I feel like we need to do research, right? Because research is good. Do that right there. Canteen, a heliport, premium house, recovers stamina, provides uh, one bed for instructors. Okay, that's something new. Why not? Oh God, what's going on here? Oh, he's, he's, he's improving in strength. Yes, sir. Training goal not set. Okay, let's go ahead and set a goal here for him. We'll say artillery, maybe, or comms. Intelligence is eight. We'll go with sure comms. Thing. Right there. Yes, sir. Intelligence is 63. She's Consider definitely a comms boss. person. Yes, sir. That's his training goal right now. We're going to do artillery for done, him. Boss. Yes, sir. I need infantry as well, right? So we can uh, maybe do an infantry building right here. Let's see what we have. Ah, Hellfire. I thought it would be it'd be big enough for this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. What's up, Ian? How you doing? What I what is this happy music trash? I know, right? I'm wondering if I'm gonna get uh if if somewhere this music is somehow like somebody's creation and they're gonna like DMCA <laughs> me or something. 
DMCA. Ah, here we go. Good job, soldiers. The enemy won't stand a chance against us. Reward was six thousand forty-eight, whatever, and we 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 liberated, we liberated the country for so that everybody can eat Brussels sprouts and cabbages. The first step is looking good. You saved us. That despicable dragon had us on bread and water. He took away our cabbage and made us burn our entire crop. A lot of good cabbage died on that horrible su summer evening. They sent them off to camps. They tortured those poor Brussels. Yeah. Yes, I propose that we erect a statue for our fallen cabbage, and from now on, the day shall be remembered as Cabbage Day. Let's not name it as Brussels, the day that Brussels lived. We need a statue with brown buttered Brussels sprouts. With pecans. No action, no, it's just a sim. Uh, no, we got a dissenter. Yeah! We shall she cook cabbage for breakfast, cabbage for lunch, and cabbage for dinner. We shall bring offerings to the cabbage god and. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God. That's kind of like a sims feel to it, too, right? Yes! Hmm. Maybe we don't do any of that and we just focus on rebuilding the city. How about that? Hmm. Huh. Friends from the Southern Territories have told us that their situation is starting to get very bad. Jantine Roosevelt, one of Dragon's top three generals, rules with an iron fist. She doesn't mess around. Be careful. To the south. Where's that? Uh, ha. Did a great job, indeed. Mm. These people of Rocky Appendix can now live in peace. You've all earned some rest. The good news don't stop there. We've earned some extra money, and we can use that to upgrade the camp. Every time we reclaim a territory, we bring in more funding for our cause. The more ter territories we liberate, the more economic support we will have. This allows us to upgrade our camp and train more troops. But we aren't just here to take territories back. We also have to maintain good relations with the towns in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the special deals. Is this game for, for smartphones? I have a feeling. Ah, Smoking GM, it's not so bad. Improve relations with the towns. We can attend to their needs and respond to their requests. Our reputation improves as we resolve their issues. However, not helping them or failing in our efforts could have the opposite effect. Also, if you see that the town has a low popularity but no active requests, you can help them by sending personnel to serve there permanently. Towns often need medicine or maintenance or other issues to solve, so keep an eye out. Treat the different towns well, and they'll support us unconditionally. Only if we remain united can we feat, defeat Dragon. Yep. <laughs> Think you like it? Technology. That's what I was looking for. In addition to constructing buildings and recruiting soldiers, we need to improve our infrastructure and research new technologies. To do this, we use research points. We earn these points at the research lab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, honestly, the tech tutorials are a little bit too much. You know, I mean, it's like it's like a little bit like I don't know. It's just, I mean, I, I get it that it's like really con. It's almost too comprehensive. It's a lot of reading, right? I mean, like, really, honestly, if I was playing this game without you guys right here, and maybe this is the way you'd want me to play it, I'd be going, yep, 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 like, just, like, pressing the thing constantly until I got, like, to the to the uh, actual stuff. What I'm trying to say is it's not succinct enough, you know? Go to research lab and hire a researcher. Once we have that one, I'll tell you a little bit more about the tech tree. Okay. We need a, we need to build a research lab. Let's, uh, let's build a research lab up here. No power, of course not. What is this right here? Can't work if there's nothing in stock. Oh, hold up, hold up. What's what's going on here? Yes, sir. Oh, we're out of food. 
Probably need to, oh, it looks like it's fine. What's he, what, what does he mean he can't work if there's nothing in stock? Oh, I need ammo. Got it. Okay, let's uh let, let's go over here and grab a grab some more ammo. I, I think I might have jumped ahead on the on the tutorial. Where is it? There we go. There we go. Now they can now they can work. Yes, sir. Homeboy's ready to specialize. What can we specialize him in? Artillery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He didn't look like very happy now, does he? Yes, sir. We can't deal with infantry just yet, so we'll just All we'll right. just set it for artillery here. All right, we need to hire a researcher. Intelligence is a six, that's a no-go. Intelligence is a 14. A 10. Six. He looks like a good all around pretty good person. We'll take we'll choose the chick. There we go. You're hired. An area with, that ha, has zero connection to fight with another that has zero, also zero connection to fight for Brussels sprouts. No, man, I appreciate your kindness, but this game is ass. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. This reminds me of like any of the other, like, ty like a tycoon game, right? We have our current infrastructure, but we're going to start to uh, start by developing a new building. We'll start by developing the Explosive Engineer Specialization Building. This provides us with a new type of specialty training that is essential for some missions. Later on, you'll be able to develop defensive structures and alternative energy sources. Hey. This music is getting kind of tired, tired too. Like, I feel like I'm at the circus or something. I'm going to turn on the music. It's kind of driving me nuts, too. That didn't work. Hold on. Turn it down. There we go. Your warehouse, no supplies. So I need to go ahead and grab some more supplies here. I guess I need to, to check out the uh, the new research lab. There, another one. Where'd the other guy go? reject this guy yeah didn't mean to hire him like uh as a, as a soldier I want to find an intelligence 
we'll reject this guy as well. Yeah, we'll hire this guy. There we go. All right. Girl Valley was once uh, one of the most verdant areas of lush grassland. Before all this, it used to be a forest, but this damn dragon, that damn dragon deforested it for, to create a piece of, for military maneuvers. We're going to teach him a lesson, send a few explosive engineers to recap it. So we need an engineer and two infantry people for this to work. I don't have an explosives guy yet, so uh, we got to figure out that. I think it's right here. Research tree. Okay, here we go. We can go ahead and do ex We'll go ahead and buy that for 100 Yep. No. Ah. Ah. Too much text. So this game is pretty cutesy, but what are you training these guys for? Are they going off to war later? Yeah, I think so. I, they're actually like, there's, okay, so, so this is like primarily a, a simulation game, right? Well done. Let me get all, through all this stuff and I'll, I'll show you. There we go. All right. So this is a primarily a, uh, a, a simulation game where you're basically trying to recruit stuff and, and make things happen. Um, but you're also trying to take over different uh parts right so we have this little little nook right here we just took out like we have a we have we just took this part out right here um we, it requires like certain kinds of like soldiers with specializations and then it kind of like you you, you launch a mission and it it doesn't really show you anything it just kind of like says whether you've won or lost it and we haven't gotten very far into it at all so i don't know if, if that helped at all probably not What is he doing? I don't think that this guy is really doing much. Probably need to build a few more private houses too. Be affected by noise. Weird. Okay, we'll put one right here. And do another one right here. There we go. And we need our demolition demolition specialists as well. There it is, right there. I'm going to guess that this is going to be like a... Let's stick it right here, maybe? I will come all the way back here. There we go. Hopefully that will, uh, that will do something right here. Roads... There we go. Now we can get two. Uh, once once we can get some specialists working, we will be able to actually uh, do something with this as well. Why isn't this uh, moving? Oh, uh, maybe this is here. gonna work i mean he, he's my maintenance worker and yet he just chooses to, to do accuracy and stuff is he like trying to prove something or i don't know it's weird Too loud here. Well, shit. Can we, uh, can we maybe, uh, demolish this?
There we go. I need two artillery and and uh and let's hire some more people. Accuracy is seven. We'll go ahead and make him as a private. Uh, maybe accuracy training. That sounds right. <laughs> let's see about her. Loses motivation 10% faster without free, free experience as a, as a uh, maintenance worker. Yeah, you can be a maintenance worker. We'll hire you as a maintenance worker. All right. Let's see. Hire him. He's an intelligence guy. Accuracy, intelligence. I wonder if we have any other intelligent, like accuracy people. You don't have to go to poor places and recruit, so I'll come to you. I still think drug has lost a bet or something. What are you talking about? You must have signed a valid uh, building. What? Yes, sir. Oh, I need to. I need to assign a private house for. Her. Okay. So there you go. You can have a private house right there. Chris yes, Rodriguez is ready to specialize. Let's see what uh, we can specialize her in. What is she doing? Intelligence training. Roger that. Work them muscles, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Make him Copy a, that, boss. That can be the training goal for this person. What about this person right here? Yes, sir. So it's, it, they, this requires speed. That's what we need. Her strength is way up Roger there. We'll that. go ahead and specialize in this. We need people that are fast. Yes, sir. Like this person. Understood. Probably need to hire another cook, too, I'm guessing. Yes, sir. Speed, intelligence. Hmm. Understood. We'll go ahead and hit him right there. What about yes, this sir. person right here? Accuracy is way up. We'll eventually be able to do uh, infantry. But I need to research that specialization. For right now, we'll just go with artillery, maybe. Let's see. Strength and speed. Now we'll go, uh, Consider it done, we'll go explosives boss. there. And this guy right here. Or maybe yes, this person sir. right here. He's using up our all of yes, our weapons. Yes, sir. All right. Beautiful. We're just losing money. To hire another cook, you need 300 cabbages. We'd like to exchange gems for cabbages, right? Time to start PZ. Yeah, we're about to. We're, we're, I'm about to do it. I got about 10 more minutes. I'm going to do this for about an hour and a half. And then we'll jump into it. This is getting kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's all right. Oh, we got re more research. Cost 100. 
on. What else do we got? Logistics, maintenance building, energy, electric generator, essentials, recruitment center. We could actually uh, barracks level two, private houses. We do the infirmary. By surveillance to, to uh, power. That's good. The contract says he can't say anything negative. I don't have anything negative about this. I mean, it's it, it's it is what it is. Uh, Michael Martinez, yeah, what's happening? I was given a key for it. They didn't tell me one way or another whether I could I could bash this game all I wanted to. Uh, for an early access game, it's not bad. They're gonna have to balance some of the stuff, right? Yes, sir. What do you mean it's not suitable? Come on, Ian. You know what's funny about this? I don't know if maybe I just do it wrong or something, but there are people that play these kind of games and they are fine. Like they're, it must be the audience or something. You know what I mean? It must not be me. It must be you. Or maybe it's me, not you. If I could just make this game interesting enough, I obviously look. Look at this. Like I have like all sorts of like research stuff. Uh, compounding. I got assigned activities not suitable for training goal. Blah blah blah. I don't even know what all that means, but whatever. I've come here to watch PZ and chew bubblegum all out of bubblegum. We'll, we'll be playing. We'll be switching over here in a second. You know what? I think I'll, I'll be done with this. It's like, it, this isn't like, okay, so. I know you guys, I think it's a game like this is far more interesting to play than watch. You can only do so much drunk, I don't blame you. No, it's, 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 it's oh, not a bad game. I mean, but you're right. I mean, Mark. Michael Martindale might be right. I mean, it's it's more it's more entertaining to uh, play. Although I'm gonna say the the uh, micro uh, managing is kind of annoying. See, like this all this stuff right here. My accuracy apparently every time that I um, I'm having to like micromanage this stuff, and my guess is is that uh, it's gonna be a, a, even a lot worse. The uh, the more um, the more cadets I get. I don't think we're going to make it to the second mission. It's the amount of information you have to get across to the viewer. It is a lot of information. All right, guys. Well, this is the, this is the game. I, I'm just I'm just going to tell you. I've already... There's enough of you that have uh, th they've hated on this. That's fine. The one military camp. It's in early access. They have a roadmap. And the roadmap, it looks like they're going to be doing stuff in March and April, May, June, July, and September. They're going to do a summer update and stuff. And maybe they'll, I mean, it's early access. It just came out last week, you know? It's pretty polished for a uh, for an early access game. I've played some pretty big clunkers in, in my day. This isn't so bad. How hard is it to get someone to act uh, voice act as a sergeant? Maybe that might come, you know? I mean, maybe so. Maybe they're just testing it out, but I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a like a real short break. I'm gonna get a uh, gonna set up uh, Project Zomboid. Uh, you can always join my Discord. Um, I'll let you know when I'm gonna go live in about ten or fifteen minutes, or otherwise just look for the YouTube stuff and the Twitch stuff. But I got to get all that stuff situated. I spend time with you when I can, drunk. Thank you very much, Ab. I appreciate it, y'all. If if you uh, haven't on your way out, give me a thumbs up at least. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you people? We've been playing Project Zombie. We did about 10, 15 minutes. I'll see you guys later in a second.